Hi everyone, I'm Rachel from Rachel Tutors Online, and today I'm going to continue our series on literary devices by discussing flashback. Flashback is when a character remembers something that took place before the current part of a story. There are two types of flashback, the type that recalls events that happened before the beginning of the story, and the type that recalls earlier events in the story that the character wants to revisit. Let's look at some examples. My first example is from A Wrinkle in Time. The first page reads, that morning, one of her teachers had said crossly, really Meg, I don't understand how a child with parents as brilliant as yours are supposed to be can be such a poor student. If you don't manage to do a little better, you'll have to stay back next year. Here, Meg is experiencing a flashback of something that happened earlier that same day, and it sets up the tone of how she's feeling in that moment. My second example is from The Great Gatsby. The very first two lines read, In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Here, the narrator, Nick Calloway, is recalling a conversation that happened prior to the beginning of the story that sets up what the story is about. Flashbacks happen in real life, so it makes sense that authors use them in their writing too. Flashback can be used to give a reader more background information on characters, but it can also be used for characterization purposes or suspense. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please click the like button. And if you would like to see future videos on literary devices, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.